All right. Uh, welcome everybody, and especially welcome you, Alan. Uh, today we will uh, we will uh, take in consideration okay. some of the things that uh, uh, you might have on your heart. But before yeah. entering in the conversation, please give us a context of uh, what we're talking about from your perspective, and then and then we'll enter in some of the questions that we may have uh, to expand and explore and maybe support. Okay. So let, let me give you another problem that I have is that. Uh, I don't sleep very well and uh, I uh, wake up in uh, the middle of the night and uh, my two brothers are also like that and uh, my father was like that, but uh, it's worse now. I know that I'm, I wake up like at uh, 20 minutes past two, it's more or less around this time and then I'm awake for two hours before I can go to sleep again. Okay, and I'm really fully awake. Huh? I, uh, Mm -hmm. So I have explored different strategies, like going back on my computer and working, or reading a book, or uh, uh, do meditation, or guided meditation. In my, uh, uh, but I'm like fully awake for a while, and uh, it's almost like after a cycle of two hours, uh, I go back to sleep. But uh, very often, my wife Pascal wake up early. <laughs> uh -huh. uh -huh. I probably slept for another. One hour and a half, or maximum two hours. So my, yeah. So, so I'm okay. It looks like I'm okay from. Uh, I'm not tired or whatever. I'm like almost like disturbed of what what what's going on here and what is it that I could do to go back to sleep quickly. So so, just just a, but but you find this period of time being more stressful for you, or it's just a, it happens at any time. Uh, it it happens even when you're calm or. Or is because of this phase, you know, the lockdown and all the situation? Are you more nervous than <laughs> usual? I, I, I don't know. It's, the, it's also the aging process, I, I think, uh, because uh, now I'm like 65. <laughs> and uh, I don't know, maybe no. it's, uh, it's part of the pattern. But there is definitely a family pattern, huh? uh, because my father was like awake during the, several times during the week, the night, mm -hmm. regularly. Mm -hmm. um, but it's more that's curious for me that uh, I can I am tired I go to I, I sleep and then two hours or three hours later I'm awake and fully awake and I've only slept for three hours strange and then I, I really can't go back to sleep huh? so the, the other alternative is that uh, Pascal gave me like non-addicted sleeping pill I take a quarter of, of one uh, and uh, 20 no. minutes later yes I, I, I sleep but I don't like that. No, I mean, no, no, no. So okay. you want to say something? This is not a coaching problem. This is a physiological problem. The answer well, is you may be overexposing yourself to light, but we can discuss it afterwards. Well, but let me let me let me take it from the behavioral side because I think you know I have the same problem that you have. I mean, now I don't want to say, say, sound like counseling, but there's something about the moment I wake up at night. You know, that's really what makes it or breaks it. You know, at least for me. You know, there's a in the moment I wake up, it's really what uh, is there. It's going to depend either I stay awake for two hours or I just go back to sleep. And it's really, you know, the ability to integrate the onidic side with the wake up. I mean, I can be awake but stay asleep. I mean, that's kind of a willingly the situation I tend to do, you know. And but the moment, the moment mm -hmm. I become clear is the moment I lose it. And I believe, you know, your mind in these days is very focused on doing something. And so whenever you give it go, it, 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 it explodes in that direction. So I, I don't know if it is about physiological alone, but it's also, you know, sometimes, at least for me, there's, a, there's a, a lot of movement in my mind. And if I allow it, it'll take over. And so I don't lead it, it leads me. And, and that's kind of in the night for you. It seems like the, the thinking does you rather than you do the thinking. <laughs> and so to yeah. me, the, there, yeah. is a, there is a moment in which I decide to let that happen or not. And, and, and that moment is it's, you're still sleeping, but you're waking up. And I don't know how to explain that, you know, but I really, I mean, beside the coaching, beside the recording, I really deal with that that way. I pretend I keep my onidic side awake while I'm awake. While, while I'm, probably Panos knows better than I did, can ever say this thing, but it really works not to wake up really. I can even go in and have a drink. I can even go to the bathroom and still sleeping in some, at some level because I'm entertaining that, that uh, night and day 
uh, I don't know. I mean, I'm sorry. I mean, we can it, cut I mean, the recording, it, but you know, it really is something. This is like, a, this is, like. a southern, this is a southern European advantage. They're from <laughs> Northern Europe. They don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> but it's it's keeping on sleeping while you're doing something while you're awake. I don't know if you have ever felt that, you know. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. to me, it's actually okay. very Greek powerful. Italian. We're on the same page. Yeah. It's, it's very powerful because it, the moment that I become clear, lucid, I'm not going to go back to sleep for sure. I too, I have too many things to think about. And, and legitimately so. Yeah. I mean, there's so much we're thinking about. We're not, we're not even, we don't even know how much stuff it is. So to me, I would say, you know, it, it is not being awake or sleeping, but it's your relationship of responsibility towards what you're doing at this point in time. You seem to be quite concerned about what's going to happen. Like I've, I've seen that in Leon also, you know, and when, when you were saying that, you know, also Leon said, I don't sleep also. There's a lot of responsibility in this moment, I think. But there's a time to sleep and a time to be awake. And, and funny enough, if we let it, it takes away our sleep, you know. And, and I believe that's mm. something we need to look at ourselves. How do we live our responsibility, you know? I think, I think yes, it is about responsibility responsibility and how do we respond to responsibility i also think that once you are awake there, there is a kind of an art to being awake when you don't want to be in a, awake and, and that art is about again like during the waking hours of the day it's about the art of presence and it's uh, it's about how can i make how can i not resist this awakeness uh, and be fully present to this awakeness and in in sanskrit words make it an ananda moment a blissful moment i call it when i speak to panas i call it my conversation with god moments and that always turns out to be the most blissful experience between two and four o'clock and then i fall asleep and i sleep until seven so, so i think the attitude towards the opportunity to being awake what we do with that also shifts things to a large extent. And then the coaching question from a systemic perspective would be, David, if I may, um, is to say, what is it that you're still carrying about your father that you needed to give back to him a long time ago? Okay. Okay, so here comes the physiology. Are you ready? Check. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so Look, look, look. See this? Yeah. Hang on. I'm taking these off. I'm putting these on. Right. Can you see they're red? Yeah. They, they block blue light. Okay. Um, makes a huge difference. You spend a lot of time in front of your computer. It messes up your serotonin. And that's what happens. So that's number one. Mm. Assuming, of course, assuming all the other stuff is already done. In other words, if you have a concern on your mind, it will wake you up at night. In which case, what yeah. I find works for me is write it down. I have a notebook, I write it down, then I can go to sleep. So if it's a, if something, that, but if it happens every day, it's unlikely. Mm. So, so the first thing on a physiological level is to get rid of blue light. And we can discuss it afterwards. It's too much to describe now. I'll send you some videos. Okay. If you want. I do it by using these glasses and I have another pair, which is lighter so I can see better. So depending what, time of the night it is I swatch I switch mm -hmm. the other thing that's really very very useful like on a practical physiological level right is to get sunlight I, get, I do it twice a day in the morning sunrise I go and face the sun get as much sunlight on my body and the same thing at sunset face the sun get as much sun and I do breathing and other things which are physiology mm -hmm. I think I can't remember I'll check if I post it on the group a little hey, few page thing that says get back your energy or something like that if i haven't i will uh, that gives you more detail so there's a physiological side okay uh, and obviously the other thing is what time do you eat if you eat carbohydrates it helps so there's technical questions that one can ask one thing one thing i want to connect connect with what leon said you know yes it, there is there, there is probably something progressed you know like you know the way you you come to responsibility the father you know i love i love that figure because it's really towards uh, who you respond to, you know? And, and I think, you know, once you're in a situation in which there's a concern, 
there is a judge inside that you have to respond to. And I think, you know, that, that's, something, that's something very powerful to look at, whatever form you want to give to it, you know. But there is some, sometimes responsibility is the most, I mean, I love responsibility, but sometimes it could be like uh, we feel responsible for things we cannot change. And at that point, you know, uh, it, it becomes more difficult to pick it up because it really is heavy, you know. And uh, and, and, and in this type of situation, we have to decide what, what to be responsible for and what to accept as it is. And it's very difficult because sometimes we would like to change what we have to accept and vice versa. But I think that's kind of a question, you know, what, what do I have to accept and what can I, what can I engage in changing, you know, because some of the things of this moment we're not going to be able to change. We have to face and 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 the more we resist it, even out of responsibility, the more we tend to weaken ourselves, even to manage those things. Mm. What do you there think? is an opportunity also, hey, Alan. There's yeah. an opportunity there because at that time of the night, your subconscious is a lot more available. Okay. Mm. unless you jump up and start doing things. No, if you just do what David said, you just lie in bed pretending to be sleeping, you're much closer to a, to a sort of a theta, sort of alpha theta type brainwave, right? Which means your subconscious is a lot more open. It's a lot more available. And so any, any uh, ideals that you put in place, you know, how would you like your coaching to be? How would you like to experience more clients or whatever it is? Um, that's a very good, that's a fantastic, in fact, that's the best time. Mm, There's yeah. nothing like it during the day. I if agree. you stay awake, come past seven, six, seven, everybody wakes up, something disappears. It's kind of you in a different world. Mm -hmm. almost. And so, so there is a definitely an opportunity. Uh, so yeah, so don't miss the opportunity. Yeah. So, so, so let me give you a little bit feedback of my experience now of what, what is happening. Yeah? Okay. Um, uh, I think there is always several dimensions to the problem. And even if I don't have a full solution, I have like now a curiosity to explore some solution. Right. Okay. So, 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 so one is like uh, the physiological aspect that uh, uh, is, is useful, uh, especially if it's not expensive. So like uh, Panos, just send me where I can analyze yeah. this, uh, this exactly. things. Uh, the, the other one is the question from mm -hmm. uh, responsibility and the question from Leon about uh how uh yeah is that uh, something to do with my father in terms of uh, taking responsibility or mimicking my father and that hit me very strongly leon because uh, my granddaughter which is 21 uh last year when i was uh, in france she said to me uh, you know anna uh, i don't want to be like my father but i am so much like my father in fact sometimes I, I say to myself father can you move out of me and, yes, <laughs> you know, and 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 so uh, there is something for me to explore also here. Yeah, with also real, with also the feeling that uh, uh, the the conversation uh, gives already different angles. And if I can basically give you feedback about what basically uh, resonates with me, uh, that could be like for the coach facilitator, like in this case, Davide, a type of direction where we could explore if you want uh, a little bit deeper and um, and then uh, uh, the third one uh, my attitude towards it and uh, yes for the moment I, I didn't put it like uh, a real burden uh, I mean it is a burden but I didn't take it negatively I accept it I do guided meditation I do I, I do things that I will not do during the day because I don't have the time so uh, it's also something to explore. And, and for me, as a conclusion, is that if we could uh, even use that, because I think it's uh, through the coronavirus and in the world, I think probably more than we expect, a lot of people have a problem on sleeping. Absolutely. Uh, one way or and, uh, and even like being depressed or whatever must like impact mm. you. So come back with uh, each of us with one question about sleeping mm. that will be a self-inquiry for people and that we send that to our clients mm. uh, probably 50 percent of them will find something of value absolutely i think that's a great idea that's a very good idea yes that's a great idea